Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Money Muse. Today I have the UPS guy knock at my door and deliver something I have been waiting for since Christmas time. This is the newest Beach House release. I pre-ordered it right when they announced it and today we're gonna open it. So I wanna share this with you even if you're not a big Beach House fan. Share this excitement with me. All right, let's open it up. Ooh, all right, here we go guys. Gold. Ooh. So they had two choices. One was white, one was black. And I picked the gold one. <laughs> the one that had gold in it. I got some stickers. I always love it when they add some stickers to so pop. Wow, this is really nice. So this is their newest release, Once Twice Melody. And this is a limited 2LP gold edition on colored vinyl with full color booklet and two executive posters. I was sold. They had released a few songs on YouTube and I was listening to them. I really love them. So I've been a Beach House fan for a long time. Pretty much have everything they released on vinyl. I think there's maybe two records I haven't gotten yet. But for the most part, I pretty much have everything. I was just taken by the packaging. They showed a little preview online and I'm like, I gotta have that. Oh my gosh, I'm just taken by the quality of everything. It's just so pretty. Beautiful photography inside. I'll show you guys some close-ups. You know, this is something that like I would want to just hang up on the walls but I wouldn't want to destroy it. So then it stays in its little package, <laughs> but it's so beautiful. These are just great. So here is the booklet that it comes with. It is, it just feels great. It's just an expensive print, I can tell. <laughs> Everything is just such high quality. Wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize that the record itself would be a gold. So amazing. Here's a second LP, and this one is clear. My favorite thing to do with clear is just put some lights behind it and then take some snapshots of it. It's really cool. The way it bends the lights, really neat. And there's more. I wish every <laughs> record was like this. Give me everything you got, guys. Beautiful poster. And a little thank you note. I, yes, I love little notes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you to our friends and family. And they list their friends and family. <laughs> and to all of our listeners who keep believing that the music is what we should be doing. And I just can't wait to spend some time and listening to their newest album. And I do enjoy that it's two because sometimes what happens with some of the longer songs is they make, they cut a shorter version for just the vinyl pressing and it doesn't give you the full experience. So excited to listen to this. I hope you guys enjoyed this little piece of Beach House opening Once Twice Melody. All right, next is gonna be mail time and uh, I've been able to spend some time with some of the gifts that you guys have sent me. It's been really nice. So the first one I wanna share with you is Sean Spins. Sean Spins has a YouTube channel of his own that you have to check out. He's really knowledgeable, not only about music, but about art and entertainment and he's hilarious. He comes up with these skits. It's just a very entertaining channel and I just, I could see him going further along with this. So. He's a creative person. I think he's an art teacher from what I gathered. And we're sharing music with each other and I'm like, you know what, make me a mix. I knew he was gonna be the all knowledgeable 90s. The music I hadn't had a chance, like he was there. So he sent me one version that is all live um, from bands like Nirvana, Pixies, Breeders, Clash, David Bowie, uh, who else? Elliot Smith, Allison Chains. So cool. Like, I can't wait just to like put this on in the car and I don't know, be transported to the 90s. <laughs> then the second one that he sent is a lot of studio recordings, like 
uh, the Velvet Underground, Camp Cope. Well, thank you, Sean Spin, for setting this over. It's been really fun listening to it, being transported into a whole different era. All right, next is a big box of CDs sent over from Hawaii, Ed. Thank you so much, Ed, for taking the time for not only sending this, but paying postage. <laughs> and it got to me pretty quick, so that's kind of cool. Now, uh, me and my husband have been listening to these CDs, so they might be a little mixed up and not put together, but I want to share them with you. We um, just finished listening to some Stevie Wonder's greatest hits, and this was really nice. Like This was just like really cool to listen to all of Stevie Wonder's amazing songs. ELO. Now, Ed did send me the vinyl version of some of the ELO's music, so it's just great to get some digital. There's a lot of songs on here. Double disc. Next is some classic 90s music with Janet Jackson. All right, so there's quite a bit in here, so I'm just gonna go through them really quickly just so you can get an idea. Slow Jams, the 70 volume. You guys remember the info commercials? <laughs> Next is a CD version of Miles Davis. Now, I know some of you jazz fans love Miles Davis. You guys are always talking about him. Next is, a, I think like a love compilation. It's called Body Talk. <laughs> the Language of Love, 1965 to 1995. Here we have Al Green's greatest hits. Now, I see this all the time being sold. All right, so next is Ray Charles. This is just a few of his songs, about 14 songs. I don't see his famous songs on here, so it'd be nice to hear kind of his other work, because I do have him on vinyl with like Georgia and Hit the Road Jack, those super famous songs of his. Here we have the Beach Boys. This is all their very best hits. Here is the Beatles Volume 2. We're listening to this one yesterday. Then this is Elton John's greatest hits. You know, I'm not a big John, Elton John fan, but we do have one record of his and it sounded amazing. So much different than the radio version. Here's the Beatles in, in the Magical Mystery Tour. So curious to see if this is a live version of the Beatles or if this is an album. And then here's the 80s pop hits. Everything on the back doesn't look, um, I don't recognize anything. Here we go with some Sade. I could, I love Sade. Anything by her I want. The very best of Simon and Garfunkel. I have everything that they've made, but I don't have the best of <laughs> all on one CD. Then here is Prime Prince. I do not know who this is. Here is Neil Young. I, you know, I, I haven't heard anything by Neil Young, but I hear you guys talking about him all the time. Barry White. Now, I know this voice is going to just bring the bass to the room. <laughs> this is some Bob Dylan, Highway 61. I do have this one. So I'll probably give this to someone else, pass it on. Here's the Village People. I mean, this is as kind of cringy, <laughs> but I'll give it a try. <laughs> Marvin Gaye. Now, I was listening to this yesterday and I'm like, this is so good. Bare Naked Ladies, you guys remember them, 91 to 2001. Willie Nelson, never heard Willie Nelson stuff. Like, can you believe that these people have been around forever and I've never listened to them? Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, I hear you guys talking about him as well. Then I do have this on vinyl. Here's some Jeff Buckley. Uh, my friend Cameron actually let me have the vinyl version of that, which was awesome. And here's Jeff Buckley's version. Now the vinyl, it, like his, his vocals come alive on the vinyl version. Um, here's some Joe Crocker. I know Joe Crocker from the Wendy Years theme song. I found his album once at the Goodwill. So scratched, so destroyed. I'm like, ugh. Bruce Springsteen's greatest hits. I see this one all the time, Harvest Mill Young. And totally, oh. We were listening to this yesterday. <laughs> totally hits of the year 2001. That's the year I graduated, so this is gonna transport me to nostalgic. Missy Elliott, get your freak on. Oh my goodness, that was a fun song to dance to. <laughs> you know what, I have a feeling the early 2000s are gonna come back in fashion and style and music. If you've seen the Super Bowl halftime show, all of us almost 40 year olds were dancing like it was the year 1999. <laughs> we loved it. And I did hear that right now, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, all their old songs are like number one on iTunes. Oh, I do have one more thing to share with you. I went to Pasadena and I went record shopping. At the record store Pasadena, I don't know, it was just really hard for me to decide what I wanted. I didn't really see anything I wanted, but I wanted to get something because I'm never out, I'm never there. 
and I had a choice between Cat Power's newest album and I, I, I really wanted it, but, and then I saw the morning jacket and I'm like, you know what, I love the morning jacket. I've been a big fan of this for years, so I haven't heard it, I'm just gonna get it. So I got it. And I previously recorded me kind of reacting to it. And I wanna show you that because it's a natural reaction, <laughs> unplanned. So let me show you that segment now. So this has never happened to me. I don't think so, I don't think this has ever happened to me. Just listen to this one. I love Morning Jacket, but I did not like this record at all. I didn't like it. I didn't like the sound of his voice. I didn't like the lyrics. It was not what I was expe expecting at all from them. I don't even know how to describe it. But you know what? That's me and that's my taste. Take a listen to it if you have time. See if you like it. If you like it, DM me on Instagram and I'll send this to you, okay? Because I can't believe it. It's weird. Has that ever happened to you? You have an artist? Actually, yes, it has. Coldplay's newest album, I do not like. I cannot listen to it. I cannot stand it. <laughs> At least their previous album, there was a few songs in there. I'm like, okay, this is good. But this newest one, I just stayed away from it. I'm like, I think I'm done with Coldplay. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know who they're trying to become. But I've been a lifelong fan for 20 years <laughs> and I opt out. So I don't know. Sometimes I guess that happens with some of your artists. They just change, just like friends. They change and you never hang out with them again. So huh, I'm totally disappointed. You know, if I do see their older stuff, I would get their older album that uh, I have a few CDs of those. I'm gonna find them. I've been a big Morning Jacket fan for a long time. So, I mean, I don't say it lightly not liking their stuff. This was really good. I, these could live in my CD player in my car for months. Um, this one especially, one of my favorites. I don't know, they just went in a different direction with this album. And yeah, usually, you know, you have an artist you love, you buy the newest album, you love them. What a bummer, right? I've never shared anything to, with you guys that I don't like. So, I guess because I said I was gonna share it with you. No. Okay. Yeah, so I was pretty disappointed. Didn't really like it. Now I don't know what to do with the album. Give it away. Do you guys like it? <laughs> Let me know if you do. <laughs> well, that's this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys next month. Bye.